In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to use the Fur Blur tool in Substance Painter. First, drag and drop the Fur Blur tool into your library. And then, add it into layers. Let's pick the mesh to work with, in my case it's a body. Now let's see what inputs does it have. It has flow map, input image as the main layer, and intensity map. We can add our texture maps right away, by dragging them into their respective inputs. Now, look at the result it creates, we can already see something resembling a fur. But that's not all, if you're not satisfied, there is an intensity slider to control the length of the fur. It controls the entire mesh, but if you want some fur be partially affected, you can add in an intensity map. Look how only certain areas got affected by it. It can give you precise results. But what if we don't have any texture maps ready? We can draw them directly in Substance Painter. Let's prepare our layers for painting. Add a first fill layer, it's going to be our image input. For our workflow, let's make sure that fur blur layer always stays on top, as it is a resulting layer, of all the pant work done below. Now for this layer, let's create an anchor point. It is needed for the fur blur tool, to get the results from, instead of regular texture maps. Now, in fur blur tool, we are going to attach this anchor point to its respective slot. An input image. As we have anchor point attached, let's get reference channel for it as a diffuse. Input image usually uses diffuse or base color depending on your shader. Second layer is going to be not fill, but paint layer. It is going to be our flow map. Let's add anchor point for it as well. And again, connect this anchor point into fur blur's flow map slot. Floor map uses normal channel, so in reference channel, pick normal. Next paint layer is going to be intensity map. Let's add anchor point for it too. For our workflow, let's make sure that fur blur layer always stays on top as it is a resulting layer, of all the pant work done below. For the intensity map, we don't need to connect anchor point just yet, because we haven't painted the flow map. Let's just use a slider for a moment. For us to see the result better, let's assign our noise texture into input image layer. This allows us to control the size and appearance of input image better if precise edits are necessary. Now let's paint flow map. Turn off all other material channels except normal, since we are not going to use them. Now let's create our flow map brush. Drag and drop the green image with 16 by 16 pixels and hex color 80 FF80 into normal channel. And turn the flow path checkbox on.
We can start painting our flow map. Let's adjust the flow to 80% to remove artifacts and hard colors. We can start painting our flow map. We've finished our flow map, but it despite the brush settings, it looks very bad. To fix this we can add a blur filter so colors will become more accurate. Much better. Remember that the anchor point must stay on top as it's a resulting hook. We finished painting a flow map for the body, and look at the good looking results we have. Now we can hide our flow map layer to fix normals and see the intended result. There is another way to paint a flow map, but for that, let's switch to another mesh, in my case it's going to be a head. On the head mesh, for the flow map, we are going to use paint along path tool, with the icon looking like an old pen. For it, Let's create a paint layer named Flow Map. Select the Paint Along Path tool. Turn off other layers except Normal. Drag the green image into Normal channel, set a Follow Path checkbox, On, and we've just created the setup for a Flow Map to paint. So it remains to add an anchor point for flow map layer and let's create all the remaining layers. Let's add the remaining layers, just like on the body model. An input image fill layer, an intensity map paint layer. And add anchor point to each layer as well. Then assign their anchor points in fur blur layer. Don't forget to assign their respective material channels in reference channels settings. For us to see the result better, let's assign our noise texture into input image layer. For the intensity map, we don't need to connect anchor point just yet, because we haven't painted the flow map. Let's just use a slider for a moment. Now we can start painting our flow map. Switch to flow map layer, select paint along path tool, and start painting. You can also use symmetry on, to apply results on a whole model. Now let's take a look at this situation. The lines are crossing each other. It creates a bad flow. To avoid it, we can change the pressure settings on each vertex point it can give us precise results. And will leave us some space for other splines. To get the correct flow.
Make sure your flow direction stays consistent with the neighbor colors, otherwise it may break the flow. To fix this you can move the dots on the opposite directions or just click the reverse path direction button. Now we've finished our flow map painting. Let's hide our flow map layer so the materials appear correctly. Now we finally can start painting our intensity map. Let's make sure its anchor point is connected in fur blur layer and the reference channel is set. Let's reset our brush settings, remove normal channel and turn the flow path off. The intensity is a grayscale map, the brighter color is, the more intense the result, the darker color it is, the opposite. I don't recommend you use a pure black and pure white colors, use some varieties of gray instead. Now that the intensity map is finished, we can adjust our final material a little. That's how you use a fur blur tool in Substance Painter. Thanks for watching.